we are supplying electrical equipment and automation to the crane industry and to terminals all over the world. 2008-2009 was really a lesson to the, the whole industry. We saw the end of, of the big volume increase in, in the container handling. We went from 10-12% growth down to 4-5% growth today, which is really quite good. And it happened through a really slump in the, in the business, and but also a rather quick recovery. Now what we see today, we have gone from really volume growth to building efficiency and productivity into the industry. The challenges facing the terminals uh, due to the mega ships coming into operation and now is the, the volume as such. We need much higher productivity on the berth to service these. And at least 500 con TUs to be moved per hour, maybe 8, 900 even, but this is manageable. Next challenge is uh, to really having the stacking capacity for all of these containers when we have really big calls, maybe as much as 10, even 20,000 TU in, in one call that has to be, be handled. Another and maybe the biggest challenge is that the number of ships is coming down. Automation is the basis for increasing the efficiency of, of the terminals. Automation is automatic handoffs, automatic trains, automatic vehicles, but also automatic handoffs between all these means of, of handling the container. But with that comes also automatic handoff of correct information between all these equipment, all the way from the ship to the gate and rail and the way back again to the ship. But also what uh, we see with this, the next step that we, we now achieve is when we have the, the automated equipment, the remotely controlled equipment, we have remote control desks for all, being able to handle all types of cranes. We can run ship to shore cranes, stacking cranes, rail cranes, really all kinds of cranes with these, but also bringing in all exception handling in the terminal, also bringing in the logistics and the maintenance, bringing all of this to a central control room. Today, container terminals have to optimize their operations. That's the only way to increase the cost and stay competitive. The competitive environment is going to get much tougher due to the bigger ships and, and so on. Either you get a call or you don't get it, and the impact is, is very, very big. And with this, we can also, at the same time, when we are optimizing, we can reduce the impact to environment. We are much more energy efficient in an operation that is smooth and, and continuous. We are also making the terminals safer. With the automation and optimization, we bring people in, we don't expose them to a hazardous environment out in the, in the terminal and this all in all makes a much more efficient operation. With the automation and centralization of, of staff in the, in the terminal we, we are also greatly improving the working environment for the staff. It's a huge difference sitting on a crane looking down 50 meters and doing it for hours or being in a working environment like the one behind me in a desk that you can adjust, you can sit and stand and you can at any time change your duties with uh, one of your colleagues and you can work in the real team. Now we are working to, to make the terminals safer, greener and uh, more productive and uh, this is for small and, and big terminals. The automation that we are having today is first coming in the big terminals when we also see it spreading over the world to, to much smaller terminals and today even the, the medium size and small terminals are facing the, the challenge of, of much bigger ships and the need to improve and getting much more cost efficient.